Do you think that's a L for her? I Nigga. said it before. I just think listen. You do some nasty haven't shit. you worked in a place, Kev, where you had to walk in shit? Yeah, clean up Nigga. shit. Nigga. You were getting paid you. not to necessarily get shitted mm-hmm. on, but you chose to be in a field where there was doo doo all around you, bro. I she's choosing the doo 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 to be on her wherever for fifty k. How long does a doo doo last? <laughs> like when you're taking the shit, I might, I might at the max. 15 minutes in the toilet, 20 minutes on the toilet, if it's really that bad, but what if she just getting oh. in and out? Nigga, take a quick dump, let it off. Ah, oh. Now smear it on your chest. Ooh, Every, there's my doo-doo. And then she hop in the shower with a $50,000 sitting on the toilet seat. <sighs> right. <laughs> Good Wi Fi, <laughs> because you look you look like a Minecraft character. Hey, yes, he did. <laughs> I'm glitching that bad, huh? Oh, blockhead, nigga. it ain't, it ain't good, buddy. It ain't whatever. Good. I'm gonna get better Wi Fi, but listen, man, some off air conversations led to this fucking topic. I mean, Jerry was we just talking about some shit off air we used to do in our younger days and shit like that, oh, man. you know. We was in our youth hitting the clubs up, certain clubs with some uh, mostly lady entertainment and shit. So I'm just saying, shit done switch nowadays. Like that shit ain't the norm no more. Now everything is on OnlyFans and everything like that. Chicks getting flown out to do certain shit. So again, yeah, I have another surprises video for y'all, like always. We're going to react to it. About how these ladies are getting money. Let's watch what she has to say. Dubai to become a poor deposit. And if you don't know what that is, it's women who come to Dubai and get pooped on for $50,000. Black girl living in Dubai. What I spent in a day living in Dubai. So y'all know I just moved into a new apartment and it been beating my pockets down. Chow. I spent like $3,000 on Amazon. And I'm still ordering stuff. I don't think it. I heard that correctly. I'm playing again. Dubai to become a poor deposit. And if you don't know what that is, it's women who come to Dubai and get pooped on for fifty thousand dollars. Black girl living in Dubai. What I spent in a day living. Who's doing the pooping? Let me know that, cause I mean, she's not. She said right. to get pooped on. I said fifty thousand dollars. Who ends up pooping? Is it a man or is it a woman? Because if a woman wants it's to a man, it fifty thousand dollars, I might consider it. You can poop on my foot. It's a man, dog. They. You're not allowed to hug in Dubai. Poop, poop, in Dubai, poop, you're not allowed to hug women in crazy. public. For fifty thousand, Dubai, the niggas got money like that. Listen, fifty hey, thousand dollars. This the new thing, put dog. Ten bitches in a room and let them all poop on my foot. I'm rich. <laughs> they they crab walking past your feet, dropping oh. deuces on your toes. Is <laughs> oh, look, I'll be sitting there just like this. <laughs> My, with my leg up, go ahead, girl. Do you th- go ahead, girl. I got my leg up. Leg up, go ahead, girl. I got my leg like this. All that shit. It's all good. That last good. girl gonna have diarrhea, diarrhea and splatter so, all your ankles, your so, kneecaps. Nigga, you never. Uh, you'll never, you never be able clean, to get the stench out. <laughs> you never cleaned baby shit before, but yo, fifty thousand dollars to get shitted on. Remember, hey, Biggie man. had a skit. She oh, wanted me to shit on her chest. That was for free. I don't think they pooping on her. Yo, niggas taking shit to the extreme. If I'm paying you $50,000 to shit on you, I shit on your face. I don't know <laughs> what to say to that. And I don't want to say anything to that at the same time. We're, on, Drake, Nick, Nick. I don't think any one of us, even if they paid us to shit on a person, still wouldn't. I don't want to poop. I poop in private. That's what I'm saying. So I'm you do know, on a person. to shit on a person, to pay a person to shit on them, you are a fucked up individual. You are not going to do the lamest thing is I'm going to poop on your foot or your kneecap or your chest. They're going to take the shit to the most highest extreme. <laughs> the chest ain't bad. That's chest bad is bad. 
I can smell it. It's like I just ate something that fucked my. I ate. I ate McDonald's for a week straight. My shit fucked down right now, and I want your face. So what you telling me is that you're preparing for this poop session before? That's what they do. A week, a week in ahead of a week ahead of time. She's out there. I got there a, like I got a doo doo date on Friday. Let me eat <laughs> everything I can possibly eat and hold Ew. it in until Friday, and then take mm-hmm. a laxative. You should be arrested. You <laughs> should be what? fucking arrested. Throw the arrested. book at this nigga. Fifty thousand dollars. You about to get the worst. You gonna be showering for weeks. I might have to throw the whole bed away. I just shitted on you. On old mattress like, out the window. Why not just set up like a poop orgy? Like if you want to get paid fifty thousand for one nigga, tell him uh, if the girl I'm talking about, tell him get all his friends together, kind of shit. And now you can leave with 400000 500000 to get pooped on. I don't think that's a bad bargain. Not in all honesty. It's now like they're going to want some type of shit. discount. At least they're going to want some type of discount. I mean, 400000 now, 350 But you still getting out of there with six figures, and you only had to do this disgusting thing one time. Six figures and pink uh, eyes. She, she, she moved it. No, we're protected. <laughs> He moved your eyes, eyes. <laughs> yeah. goggles. Okay, fuck yeah. all that. I was ain't putting your mouth. What kind of, what kind of childhood did you have to have? Can't trust it. To get to a point where you're comfortable getting shit on a poor you one, making TikToks about it, and you so happy? She made a TikTok about how she's moving, living in Dubai, and she spent three thousand dollars on Amazon packages, and her money's getting low. So she got to call one of these rich ass sultans up. Say, hey. <laughs> Getting pooped on by a sultan. I, Shut the fuck up. night doo-doos. <laughs> Aladdin pooping on you is crazy. I, I feel yeah, like I'm this, saying. right? Where First of all, where'd you get their number? Second. How'd you I, find yourself into this shit? I, That's yeah, crazy. But I do think this. I think that especially considering what we were talking about on off air, I, I feel like People will do anything for, and I want—I don't want to say for money, but they'll do anything to still maintain a certain lifestyle. I feel like it starts off with the fucking. It starts off with this idea yeah, yeah, of cool. come take care of me. It starts off with that. But, but that's that, what I'm saying. Sure, that's but, that includes yeah. fucking. But that's how I had to start off. She had to be like. I'm known for fucking niggas for a good a, 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 a reasonable amount of money and I'm willing to do anything sexually wise for this money. And somebody after doing the wild shit they did in the bedroom, whatever it was, I don't know, sticking the fucking champagne bottle on the ass, who knows? I don't know. You had to get to the point of the conversation of you sitting in bed looking at Shorty it was like, yo, I was fly you out to Dubai. I know a couple of dudes that will pay you fifty thousand dollars, but here's the cash part. You think I'd shit on you? Let's 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 really talk about this. I'm serious. A, is, is, do you think that's a L for her? I Nigga. said it before. I just think listen. You do some nasty haven't shit. you worked in a place, Kev, where you had to walk in shit? Yeah, clean up Nigga. shit. You were getting paid not to necessarily get shitted on, but you chose to be in a field where there was doo doo all around you, bro. Now, she's choosing the doo 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 to be on her wherever for fifty k. How long does a doo doo last? Like when you're taking the shit, I might, I might at the max fifteen minutes in the toilet, twenty minutes on the toilet, if it's really that bad, but. What if she just getting oh. in and out? Nigga, take a quick dump, let it off. Ah, oh. now smeared on your chest. Ooh, Every, there's my doo doo. And then everything. she hop in the shower with a fifty thousand dollars sitting on the tallest seat. <sighs> right, everything ain't point. everything ain't dog dog food solid. Some of that shit is coming out. Would it dog, matter? Everything something that you took a shit and you smelt it, and it made yeah. your stomach hurt like that shit stink. Yeah. You have yeah, imagine, you imagine, you? imagine if you're I'm not gonna say imagine that you were a female, but no, you know a female who who 
lived in poverty. Her whole life was poor, poor to poorest of poor. You know what I'm saying? She ate wish sandwiches, nigga. All her clothes were hand-me-downs. You know what I mean? From her older brothers. You know what I mean? Like, imagine her life. Bare minimum. Oh, bare minimum skating to get by. She becomes an adult or, you know, between the ages of 18 and 21. She meets somebody that's rich who introduces her to other rich people. And... She doesn't have sex with him. I mean, I don't know what she's doing with. I don't know what this particular person is doing. Sex. But she doesn't have sex with them. She just lets people shit on her. And she makes 50 grand per doo-doo. Per, okay. per, per right, person that drops a deuce. I'm going to get I'm gonna get into it. I'm going to get real. Why am I an asshole? Per doo-doo is crazy. Per, per, per doo-doo session. Per How about doo-doo. that? I'm going to get real with you. <laughs> After a while... You got rich people that the reason they're doing this is because it's like, yo, I can degrade you for money. After a while, people will start to think these rich guys is like, yo, I didn't did every, I didn't did the worst shit I can ever do to you because that is the worst shit you can do somebody. Like, you no longer serve a purpose here. I'm not. Why am I paying you fifty k? Shit on you. I already shit on you. All right. Everybody, so she made everybody in our click, everybody in our click, then shit on you. They don't want to do this no more. It's boring. Like, all right. So dude. imagine if it's fifteen of them, and she got somewhere between thirty grand and fifty what grand I said. per person. She don't need them to shit on her no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? She been getting shitted on her whole life, Poop. and now nice. she's finally getting paid for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So let me hit you with this: fifteen people at fifty grand is only seven hundred fifty thousand. Make that stretch. I just did the math, nigga. I just did the math. Do the math yourself. Just did Have you ever make $750,000 in a year? Have you made $750,000 in a year? Bro, no. But All right. the lifestyle so she got she shitted did. on 15 times and made 50 grand. I might let some pretty good people, man. I what think that she made a come up. What if she was like, I'm going to do this. Boop, I'm going to get these 15 niggas that pressure. shit on me. Now I got 700K in the bank. Now I'm about to move to another place where my I'm going to have a car that I give to niggas. And every reason she just goes around and she makes a profit getting shitted on. She in Sweden letting Swedish niggas shit on her. You know what I mean? She might <laughs> give a little discount. 25K. After a what? while. <laughs> let me let me break something to you. After it, let me tell you, female, something that's listening to this shit. Not After everybody while, has, has the same your value, beauty. Though. Your beauty starts to fucking fade. Real shit. Your beauty starts to fade. Round thirty. How many plastic surgeries you get? You get before you get like this bitch is fucked up. How, and why would she you garnish the reputation of not working your whole life, but you're doing foul shit? If you don't take that seven hundred fifty thousand. And then reinvest it into something different. I don't know. Maybe uh, set let's, up. Let's open I'm, your mind I'm up a little to bit. Be Cam. realistic. Open though. up your I'm... mind a little bit. You got time. Listen, she's getting shitted on, Kev. She ain't working eight hours a day. She got time to hit the gym. She got time to keep her body in check. She got time to do all this extra shit. And then between the hours of eight and nine o'clock, she gets doo dooed on <laughs> one hour per doo doo session. 50k, Bro, no. right? I, I don't on, care. I don't care. Father Time is undefeated. Why? You see, yeah, but you see, who says she's got to do it for ten years? Though. I'm just saying. Yeah, you why see are you Obis making it seem like she made a career out of getting pooped on, dog? What if she's she only did like, money years? runs? Do you see her lifestyle that she's trying to live? That money dries up after a while. She she got got an you want, nigga. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. She in Dubai, apartment in Dubai, dog. Come on now. What's the currency? Be... What's American currency compared to Dubai currency? I'm just saying uh, is our money want... worth more if we brought our money over there? I don't is it know, worth more? Actually, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know okay. I know somebody oh. got currency on their phone. Realistic. I know you realistically, man, man, like, all, all realistically, you all like, hoes, you do, you just don't want all hoes got to eventually <laughs> settle the fuck down and marry some and marry somebody. And they'll never tell a nigga that you got shit on for money. Just like they'll never is... tell. That they got fucked for money. They'll tell that nigga that they just was an entrepreneur that whole time. They won't tell them they're a stripper. Uh, listen, all right. So we, I Real was talking to my, I was talking to my buddy at work. He took me to the strip club on the lunch break, okay. And we had this conversation about 
what women do, what what these women would do after they strip. Okay, some of them do extracurricular activities, and I was saying that when they retire from stripping, they're going to be a completely different person. And what I mean is this: because a girl, a girl told him that he she was going to school for X Y Z. I forget what it was, but she was going to school. Let's say she was, oh, the, even the waitress was like, oh, she's about to be a realtor soon. So she's going to be leaving. My point was the girls is doing the extracurricular activities, coming in and stripping. Once they move on from stripping, the guy that they marry will never know that they were a stripper and they used to fuck for money. So you basically. And they're, and they're moving to a new city. Hold on. You, and then I just didn't understand. I just did the fucking I just did the uh currency exchange and one um uh, what is it ruble arab uh, no it's a uh, it's a uh, united arab emirates dirham so one the one of their dollars equals 27 cents of ours so if they're paying her $50,000 in american currency she's in dubai living it the fuck up cuz that $3,000 in American money is triple that there, almost quadruple. I mean, she she's right, but here's the worst of where she fucked up at. Hopefully, that account that she made that TikTok on was just a bootleg account. She's no real photos uh, of her. How she just, gonna get her? How she gonna get her clientele if it's fake? <laughs> you know what I mean? She out here. If I ever, did you ever run back across that fucking video again? You be like, bitch, this you? You stunk what for if she's never posted, always. What if she never posted her like face? It. Now if you I never see why. her face, then you would never know who she is. What you gonna look yeah. at her fingerprints and try to fucking get a magnifying glass and try to compare it to? That's Let's, Let's move the conversation real. forward. You, I'm you, just going you go to marry. You go to marry a woman, and you realize that she got paid. To, she got paid to be shitted on. What are you doing, you f- bro? I'm leaving. There's no why. There's no kids, bro. I'm why? Because I want to. I want to punch you in your shit that you let me kiss your shitty ass. I don't know how many dookies I done kissed. I don't know how many niggas she that wa- I- wash though. I don't care about the shower. You can't wipe the shit off you. You can't wipe it off you. I can't get it out of my mind. I'm sorry. It's certain things I ain't tolerating. If you were that with oh, if you were with a woman for five years, you dedicated your Love life her. to her. And then one day she built up the honesty to tell you something about her past that she hasn't told anyone. And it happens to be that she let a man shit on her. And he gave her 50 grand for that shit. Your relationship is over right there. That's what you say. Let me tell you what I'm going to tell her. Bitch, next relationship, keep that shit a secret. I'm out. I don't think he would do that. No, I don't um, think he would either. Okay. He'd be mad that he had a shitty mouth okay. for a day. Mm-hmm. Okay. You've okay. seen her brush her teeth. Okay. You've seen her been in showers okay. with her. Okay. You know that her hygiene you is have up your, to I'm not living with nobody who got to have their own set of dishes. They own set the of forks. Cups. Oh my gosh. We you can, can say the same thing about you. Uh, you, a bitch sucking care. a nigga dick and then he care. come in her I'm mouth. Then what everybody, happens? Everybody. What's the difference? You she out there it. swallowing semen. You cool with that. But you're not cool with her being shitted on. Both are bodily fluids. One's waste though. <laughs> the, uh, the, other, the other action is just wasteful. <laughs> Guarantee. Hey. Hey, guarantee you, we came across somebody. I don't know who it is. I'm not gonna say who it is. <laughs> came across somebody who probably been peed on, Kevin. You probably be, you probably had sex with a woman who's and been I, shitted on or peed on. Let's let's be. Let's really, be. I really, I really don't care. You write sex, not a fucking what if a, listen, committed what relationship if a woman, that you got shitted on by thirty. I'm sorry. What if a it's woman told things. you that she's been peed on? I'm I'm just trying to get context. What if I'm not saying I'm, 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 I'm just saying I'm saying gonna be the only person. I'm just gonna laugh at her like stupid. Like, no, the reason I'll probably say pee on is like, yo, everybody slept in the bed with your home, your brothers or whatever, and the nigga was the bed. That's crazy. Everybody got accidentally peed on. Just, 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 just chill with that shit. I mean, everybody's had a baby. No, no, cleaned the baby up and gotten baby shit on them at some point or another. Oh, no. Like I said, everybody. No. Everybody who's cleaned the baby. 
who's clean no. a baby has gotten shitted on. I'm no, this cat baby. is two different. Those are two different things, bro. Yeah, one one a nigga got paid for, the other one was for free. <laughs> nah, the you know I'm sorry. Let me moving the conversation along. I can't. I can't do it. In my mind would just be like this. You was a fucking. You really degraded yourself to the lowest level. Like you could even say you was a prostitute. Like this cool is her being, being a prostitute. This, no, because that is yo getting shit on is like beneath a prostitute. Dog. Let's let's be real. You really have to be like you. You're prostituting because you're fucking niggas for money, and you just take this shit to another level. Not going this way, but another level going this way. That. Niggas don't even want to have sex with you no more. They want to show a sign of disrespect by shitting on you. That is a sign of disrespect. That's so I'm like, you don't have no respect for yourself. You didn't care what you did this for money. Like you couldn't even become a high class hooker to get paid 50k to let a nigga fuck. Maybe that I can understand because maybe that we can work, maybe that we can fucking make money together. You come home after getting shitted on. We can't make you don't think that men that. have fetishes to just want to shit on women or people in general. Not you don't me. think that men have finished. We're not talking about you, Kevin. See, that's the thing about it is you stuck in a box where you thinking just about what you can see or what would happen to you. You don't think that there's people in this world as a sexual okay. fetish. They prefer to shit on someone. OK, five, at the five years, your girl told you she got shit on her face for, uh, multiple times. You don't stay with her. If I've invested no, 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 five the years of my life with a woman that I'm dedicated to, and she told me she got shitted on for money, I'd be like, what the fuck? And how the fuck did you find yourself into that? But I can see you washing your face every day. You got a perfect hygiene. You ain't got these. It's it's something that you can wash off. If, and if she was to tell me, I used to get shitted on for money, but because I, I never wanted to have sex with guys, I never wanted them to penetrate me. I didn't like mm, sucking dick, none of that okay. shit. So my option is, I said, "Hey, you could shit on me, and it costs this much." Then it's like, mm, well, I mean, I guess you weren't getting. I guess somebody wasn't busting nuts all over your face. So I mean, it kind of equals out right there. But but what you're telling me is that you wouldn't mind that a bitch. Was getting was sucking dick and eating semen for money, but as soon as somebody shitted on her for money, that was crossing the line. Yeah, he ain't busted nut. He he bust a fucking a wet fart in her face and just splattered her. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I just at some point you got to draw the line. I've I've been with <laughs> I've been with a stripper before. I've been with a stripper before, and I didn't really even care. Like, all right, nigga, see you naked. It's cool. I didn't give a fuck. But the moment See, the you thing tell about me it you is prostituting, and the moment you tell me you're doing this level of prostitution, because it's both prostitution. Do you think they would tell giving, you? Huh? Do you think they would tell you? I Because my thing I is... Don't think, I don't think know, nobody would tell you. That, considering what we were great. talking about earlier, I do feel like there's a lot of women who they do that and they're not going to tell the person that they wind up getting with that, hey, I was... Because they might not, not even consider it prostituting. Oh no, I had my regulars that you know I would fuck here and there. They don't consider that prostitute. You know what I'm saying? So they, I don't think they a lot of them are forthcoming about what they did in the strip club. I'm just like I don't that. think, just like I don't think a woman is going to tell you that she got shit on for money. She's not going to tell you that that's what she did for money before you guys were together. She's not going to tell you. That's her. That's her. That's her secret shame or her business. She's not going to tell you, and you're just going to be. But but let me ask you a question. Now it's niggas who shitted on her, shitted on her for money, and they approach you. Are you believing her or believing them? Like that's what I'm saying, bro. It's like it's such a it's you such a weird at, line, yo, bro. It, that's the that's the risk you run with a lot of chicks you date nowadays. It's like Oop. The risk you run with date the risk you run that's with the risk chicks. that you run yeah. with dating chicks nowadays. You that really is. don't know too much. You don't know the too much about their past. Certain shit they try to keep buried because they're too fucking embarrassed to tell you how embarrassing it is it. It's gotta be a grain of truth. If somebody just comes up to you 
and says, yo, I used to shit on that. Who would make you just come out the blue and say to me some shit like that? Yo, that's your girl? That's your girl? Yeah, man, I love her, man, man. She's been my world for like, you know, five years. Oh, yeah, I used to shit on her? <laughs> Chandra? Yeah, man. I call her Sean Sean. You know what I'm saying? She just, you know what I mean? I call her Sean Don. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, just, we just click so well together. You know what I'm saying? It's just perfect. You know, I used to shit on her, bro. But you used to do bad things to it. Nah, man. Poop came out of my butt <laughs> and onto her body. You think too. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> waste. I put my waist <laughs> on her yes. and rubbed it in. That was my shit. And she let me do it. But you, you believe I'm gonna ask that you nigga gotta like, believe bro, 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 here, 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 here. what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Here goes a story I had. I told you shit on the podcast before. I remember two girls, I mean, one cup. Nah, see, she probably did that shit. But I remember she running into a girl, we ran a train shit. on, and her nigga was sitting there like we trying to holler at his girl. But in the back of my mind, I'm looking at this nigga like, yo, man, the fuck away from me. I could shatter your whole world right now. You can believe me or you can believe her. I don't give a fuck. She sucked my dick. My man was hitting it. She... Yeah, yeah, but did you like, bring it oh, to his attention just randomly? Like, oh, did you know she used to suck our dicks? Oh, I'm saying. Was he also wild and shit guy, because I'm not, yo, like, you, if she's all up in our face, she knows all of us and shit, and she's like, oh, yeah, they was just the homies. And the niggas laughing at you, you, you better heed to some of that shit. You better just be looking at her with a fucking side eye. Can a whore I, ever I'm move st- on? Huh? Can a whore yeah, ever can move on? Yo, I think no, 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 I, so we can actually have a real conversation about it. Because yeah. I, I understand what you're uh-huh. saying. And you're saying, like, oh, we laughing at you, but what if it's yeah, 20 years later? Are we laughing at the nigga? Because when we was kids, we used to run a train on her. Think, I, I just can, actually think about that. Seriously. You can I, you can move on, man. I think you can move on. Depending on the person you with, you can you might have to keep it a secret or you might be able to tell them and they have understanding to the shit. I can't have understanding to you going to the extreme. I can't. I had like I like I said, double the shirt. He was a stripper. She, she we was getting into our relationship. She broke it down. She's like, I want to tell you something. I don't want to be no lies between us. She's like, I used to strip. I never did no wild shit because I'm on it. This and this how she came. I, I know she tells you. I just, she's like, I never did any wild shit, but I did. I was a stripper. Yeah, I was a stripper. I used to get money on boom, boom, X Y Z. I used to do lap dance, but you know, I was one of them type of joints. I said, all right, I can live with that. I can live with that. It's like, all right, I like, you know, run to a nigga, they know you and they call you not your name, but a name you use in the club. Like, hey, yo, nigga, she don't do that no more. Go ahead. Like, I can, men- that's what I'm saying. Mentally, you have to live with that. Mentally, as a man, you got to be strong. Because if some shit as a man, you don't really want to hear from your girl. You don't want to hear that your girl is a porn star. Like, if you said she was a, she like, I used to do porn. This is the name I used to go by. You go look up a video <laughs> and you see a nigga just tearing her out the frame and you ain't mentally prepared for that shit. You're going to start second guessing your manhood. I don't care who you are. You're going to be like, God damn, like this bitch was in BBC six. Like you're going to question your manhood. You're going to be looking down six. like <laughs> I'm dead ass. I'm, Come I'm on. Six. BBC six, like that's not the, the name fourth one, not the third one. Just yeah, six. She was not. She she came. Yeah, but I'm just saying. You like yo. You watch the movie. You like fuck. Like you first thing you gonna say like yo, why is she with me? These nigga dicks was stretching her out. Like what am I really doing to her sexually? But maybe she's with you emotionally, and maybe what if that was twenty years ago, touching the right. Maybe you are touching the right spots in her vagina and in her heart to make her love you. I'm, here, I'm, here, yeah, I'm trying to be what if, like, what, what would you do shit? if what if she did the same shit that she was doing to them niggas? What if she was doing to you in the bedroom? You found out that that's how she got so nice at the game that she was doing. Would you, you still be to. jealous then? You're not jealous, bro. You got to be comfortable with yourself after you. Let's be real. That's, if you that's really, definitely jealousy. I'm, oh, that's oh, so is jealousy 
Yeah, you, you get you her get jealous sh- and you you get self you get self conscious about yourself and you get jealous about the about the whole scenario of her being with another man or woman. What's, or what's the first? What's the first two questions any nigga asks when they cheat? Come on, let's be real. What? What is the first two questions any nigga asks when his girl cheats on him? Was he better than me? Was he bigger than me? Now you got comfort. You don't think about our old boyfriends. You really don't because you're like, I don't ask either of those questions. Yeah, you don't ask those questions. That's not the questions. Yeah, there ain't no questions to be asked. But I'm saying you don't think about an old boy. You don't even care. You you hit you got in the bedroom. Think about it. You got in the bedroom. Like damn, I'm fucking her up. She screaming. She moaning all crazy. And then you turn on one of these flicks and you be like, your fucking heart's gonna go to your stomach. Let's be real. Y'all niggas is not being real right now. Let's come on, man. If she was a fucking porn ex porn star, would you be comfortable watching one of her videos? Well, if the shit I'm about to say, I wouldn't be watching her videos. That's not the same as you fucking now, stumble across it. Or for if, yeah, if you stumble out, across it, I'm gonna watch it to see what is this bitch doing. Oh, okay, all right, cool. And then I'm gonna try to go ask her about it if I'm catching it. I'm gonna ask her about it, but I'm gonna, you know, what I'm saying like you, you watch it, you try to, you know, because I'm assuming that you're not talking about a porn star. Or maybe you're talking about her just getting filmed, getting fucked, or something like that. So, so, yeah. so y'all, because so if y'all she was a porn star, have no sure. red flags of which y'all not, y'all have no boundaries. Everything's a go past once she's. Never, I never said that. Away. I said uh, no. Yeah, I'm about to say no. I'm not only of- that, but but like I said, if I was with someone for a period of time. If it's something that she told me from the door, like, oh, yeah, I was a porn star, then I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm I'm into that. But if you start dealing with somebody not knowing their past and then they tell you that they had a past, are you just supposed to shun them at that point? Like, oh, oh right, I just don't love so, you no more. It's so the, it's the, years, that's, so if if you, you're basically it could be two five. years. If you love a person, I'm not talking about you just with them because you with them. Y'all y'all in the y'all in the preliminary dating stage. No, y'all two are together. Y'all make it. Y'all have a relationship. Y'all are building a fucking future. You are investing in this life that you have with this person. Your love disappears like that. Once you see that, it's like, oh, no, I don't love you no more. It's hard. It'd be hard, though. Yo, so, Kev, so basically. And she's telling you. if If she, I'm telling you that if I was in a relationship with a woman, we've been together for years. You know what I'm saying? Not for some months and she telling me some shit where I find out some shit. I'm talking about my life and her life revolve around each other. And she's telling me that she's had a past and she's trying to be honest with me. I have to be open minded enough for one. A uh, you're open. You're open enough to try to tell me I have to accept that everybody has a past regardless if you taped it or not. I'm sure you fucked plenty of people. You know, what I mean, if I was to tell you my past, you probably look at me crazy. You feel me? And two, what am I going to do about that now? You know what I'm saying? Like, my heart belongs to you. Your heart belongs to me. You know what I mean? What if y'all got kids together? A child. You know what I mean? Like, what's the the stipulation in a relationship? But I'm just saying. And and, and then how long ago was it? Was it while we were together? Then that could be a deal breaker. Was it 10, 15 years ago? before We didn't even know what we were doing in life. And you just salty. Yeah, you just fucking salty as shit. All right. I'm not going to ask to look at, up no videos, although I'm not going to lie. My 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 curiosity, curiosity might get the better of me. Yes. But at that point, it's 15 years later. You know what I'm saying? She could have been celibate from that point on. The pussy gets back to its original form when it ain't being used, player. Whenever, you know what I mean? Just because so, she was getting just because she was getting her shit beat in on tape. Don't mean that she ain't never get her shit beaten off tape. Like, I'm not a fool in saying, not, like, oh, yeah. Like, it's a reason why. And I'm, I'm not using our girls as an example, but any girl we've been with, it's like, yo, when you felt like they got good pussy, it's a reason why they got good pussy. It's somebody else going to be like, that's some good pussy. So if you beating it up, somebody else beat it up before. I'm, not, dude, I'm <laughs> comfortable with that shit. I'm comfortable with that shit, but let me, so... Y'all are saying five years, everything's erased. It's good. You can live. You're comfortable with five years. You got to understand. 
say she was a like I was cool with the stripper. I was cool with her being a stripper. And niggas coming up to me and saying, yo, she used to work at the strip club. I can live with that. I can't live with a nigga. You you kind of you know her past. She tells you she used to be a porn star. And another but somebody else find out that you close to. And they be like, yo, nigga, they send you something. Yo, bro, you know about this? Look. Like, you've been trying to avoid this shit. It's like, now you got to break so you, the ice. That you, 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 so you, you care really, about what other people think? I'm dumb. I, I like, care about. I care. I'm going to tell you what I care about. I, I care say about. You, I don't like, mean you. I mean the proverbial you. Not, like a I'm not. What, 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 person think. what I care about, dog, is being able to go to sleep at night comfortably. Okay. I can go to sleep if he was a porn star. I can go to sleep if you had. A certain path, certain shits, certain things I can't get. I will never date a porn star. So if you date me from the rip, you tell me you're a porn star, yo, let's just stop this shit. I don't give a fuck. Let's just stop this shit. I tell people I got parameters and shit I can deal with, shit I can't. Now you try to play hide and go seek with the shit I can't deal with, and the shit comes out the box, I'm leaving you because you lied yeah. to me. And I, I told agree. you. These are fucking deal breakers. I'm not doing this. I can't live with this. I got to be able to go to sleep at night. That's understandable. I have, to, I have to have a clear mind where I go to sleep. I can't keep. See, my problem is, is like when you tell me something that you didn't wasn't open with in the beginning, I keep fucking prying, prying, prying every single yeah. day. And it consumes a relationship. I don't got time for that shit. I've been there before where I dealt with somebody. All I did, the whole relationship was pry, pry, and pry. I never put myself in that situation. That's why I tell people, yo, you do this. You uh, you slept with this person. You did this. You messed with that person. You ain't keeping honest with me. Like, yo, did you mess with these certain people? Nah. All right, cool. If I find out, I'm going to fuck we married. If I find out, you did. All right, it's done. I'm not. I'm going to sleep at night. So I wouldn't want a girl that has a path like that. And it's like, yo, you got to be honest with people. Like, yo, I got a pass. I got a serious. You got to say I got a serious pass. So, but to just, just to say y'all going to be together and five years later and she sprang some shit on you like that, like, you're going to fuck. I don't care who you are, who you are. You're going to fucking look at her crazy and you might leave her. Honesty, be real. honesty is a major thing for me. And uh, you guys have seen it before in the past. I'm very big on honesty because I'm I feel like I'm honest. Yeah. So that's what I want in return. If I ask you a direct question, um, no matter what it is, and you give me an answer, I'm gonna take that answer at face value. So if I ask you, hey, have you ever been paid for sex? And you tell me no, and then I find out years later without you telling me, then yes, that's you being dishonest. Um, so I think what we're saying is what I'm saying is years later, if you find out something that <clears throat> maybe might have been embarrassing or uh, or or whatever, like I, I'm not gonna say the poop thing. I think that's over the top. But what if it's the pee thing? Because you don't think to ask, like, have you ever been peed on? But if a story just comes out and she's like, Yeah, man, I remember years ago when this happened, that happened, and yeah, this this happened, you're not gonna be like, you're not gonna be like, get out, get out, bitch, get out, because it's like it might be something you might laugh at. Like, you, you're a fucking dumbass. Why you let that nigga do that? That's stupid. Or blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. But if it's like, this bitch was a fucking prostitute <laughs> and you find out about it, or if she tells you about it, yeah, of course I'm going to say, mm, I don't oh. think, you're not the person, you're not the person that I agreed to be in a relationship with. Or she It's, it's kind of what it comes, comes down to. And what's another thing that's prevalent? If she slips up or you slip up and find out she had a train ran on her by <laughs> motherfuckers you know or niggas that's still around. Or a train ran on her, period. Period. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, fuck you is just you like, about? You like, <laughs> you sitting there Sorry, like. Man, people you know, like that matters. Nigga, I, a train. I'm just saying, but you got. Any two you got, Say you got years in and that shit like gets slipped up like yo, remember yeah. we fucking was switching with X X and Z nigga? You looking at it like I don't know what the fuck you just said, but okay. 
She's yeah. like she in the room fucking with her girlfriends because I've been with chicks that say, "Yeah, I fucked in the room my my girlfriend." Like niggas, I've heard about that. Switching? Yes. Yeah, y'all yeah. switching? Like was it niggas niggas switch? Niggas get behind it. Like yo, I mean, let me ask you a question. Is that a, is that a deal breaker? Because because if you think about it, it, ain't like there's a threesome and two niggas running nah, around. It ain't. It ain't. It's, I don't think it's, it. it's literally just all right. Well, you fucking all right. Well, fuck it. I fuck him too. I will fuck that guy. Like I'm not saying it's like, right. I'm just saying like, is it a like, deal? Bitch, right? you uh, you looking at it like you a fucking hoe? And in your mind, that's what you're gonna yeah. say. And it might no, come yeah. out. It, it might come out verbally too. <laughs> Like, use a fucking hoe. It might come out verbally. That, yeah, it, won't, you, it might come out verbally for me. Like, you a fucking hoe. And I'm be dead ass because I'm, I'm going to be in my feels that time. Be in my feelings. Like, use a fucking hoe. And how you take it is how you fucking take it. Like, I'm supposed to be comfortable with that. Like, yo, man, explain. Explain some fucked up shit to me at the beginning. Like, within the first year. We about to say I love you each other. Like, break that shit down to me. It is not as looked at as like you a fucking old. It's like, all right, listen, I have my fun with you this time. I ain't doing this shit no more. Uh, We're having this such and such. I just don't talk to it. I'm comfortable with that. Us as men, do you think there's things that we can just get up? Because now I'm, I'm getting older, and I'm not saying I'll be cool with a lot of shit, but I'm starting to think like, do you think there's some things as men that we could just kind of get over? Like, like you could literally just pull your shit up and say, bro, is it really like to yourself and say, is it really that serious? Like, does it really change? Like, is there things that could happen that you could find out about that she could be apologetic about, or even just tell you, Hey, that was the old me. That was years ago that you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, Yo, yeah, get the fuck over it, bro. Like you did some shit. She did some yeah. shit. Get the fuck listen, over. I, listen, I can live with that. If, I can if, if she it. did let two niggas, if she did have a three, what if she did let two niggas hit her at the same time? What if that was her boyfriend and they just, or they just had a threesome with another girl or something? I, I don't want to say I, that. Yo, she had a threesome with another girl just, so with to that. a guy. Oh, nah, I baby. got, ain't no time for you to play saint with me, motherfucker. Like, we in this shit for a oh, long time. All right, all right. Well, I'm trying to go deeper than yeah, just exactly. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm being deep about the shit. You can okay. I can overlook it, but I'm like, don't be no saint with me. Like we got something now. Well, use something else. Stay. Don't use that because that that goes into you having sex with her too, like that. I'm saying something that you have to look into the mirror and say, "Yo, I'm really. I need to grow. I need to grow up." This is the person I love. We have kids together. We fucking married. We have a life. Do We're you building really want to crumble everything because of some shit she did 15 I, I years think, ago that you didn't even and know? And they have about. nothing to do with you. Bro, I think I think I made myself very clear before this relationship really got to the point where it's at now. I was like, these are the shit I can deal with. This is the shit I can't. I made it very clear. And there's certain things, like I said, there's certain things I can deal with. But be honest with me. I, please just be honest with me so I can process it. Process it. Don't let me find out. I I'm don't, that I I I I don't want to find out because it's hard for me to process. Then there's too many questions to be asked. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you're going to ask questions like if she fucking had a train ran on her, you're going to be like, damn, like. Like, what was you going through at the time? Like, why did you do that? Like, who? Like, how old was you? Like, how many times did you do this shit? Was this a norm for you? Was you thotting like this on the regular? Like, yeah, see, I'm like, never ever going to get that deep about that. You know what I mean? Uh, In my mind, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. In my mind, every woman has had a threesome with a man at my age with two men. I, that's just how I look at it, scenarios, because if you think about the things that you've done in your past, it's like, mm, well, how far off is it that this person didn't do the same thing? You know what I mean? That's why I said, what, just, how, just how Dre said, when are you, you know, there has to be a point where you look in the mirror and be like, yo, is that shit really, are you going to let that just end everything? You got, you building this relationship, you doing this and that. And you're and not to say that now what you were saying earlier, Kev, if, if it's something that you've told her about and she tried to go around it and lied about it to you, 
then yeah, that's 100% understandable. You know what I mean? You set your parameters from the door. She knew what you wanted in a person and she still tried to sneak her way in to get there. You know what I mean? That's deceitful. I understand where you're coming from there, but you never ask certain questions because you never think to ask certain questions. You know what I mean? Especially if you with somebody that you just like y'all, y'all chemistry is crazy. So you just, you just jump right in. You know what I mean? There's been times in your life where you felt like that, where you've been with somebody yeah. like, Hey, yo, Hey, yo, this person is live. Yo, I, I, I can see myself with them all the time. It, but there's honesty at the beginning though. That's it's just it's, what it's, I'm saying is if you never ask certain questions and then down the line, this person brings this up to you, like for whatever reason, you know what I mean? And they're telling you about stuff that they did that y'all never had conversations about. Are you are you just giving up everything? I got I have to because I yo, I ask some fucked up questions at the beginning because if I'm really feeling with you, it allows me to get my mind to process the shit and be like, yo, outweigh the gun and I can fuck with her. I told my, I ain't going to, I'm not even going to lie. My wife right now, I told her it's certain, it's certain deal breakers that I asked you at the beginning of our relationship. And I asked you multiple times and you said it was this answer. And I told her straight up. If I find out 20 years later, I don't give a fuck. If I'm 70, we've been married for 50 fucking years. I'll leave you that day because I got to stand. I have to stand on something. I'm sorry. But that shit that y'all com- that shit that y'all had conversations about, that's, and I made it about, you know abundantly what I mean? clear. Like I said so that's, that's a, understandable. But I, I, what I'm saying is, if there's stuff if that y'all never talked about, and she brought it up, it's just I gotta process it, bro. I really gotta. Pro- I just gotta sit and pro. My thing is, I gotta be able. I, I really make it clear. I got to be able to go to sleep at night. I had. I gotta sleep comfortably with this shit. I gotta say, you know what? Grow the fuck up. I have to be able to say that, cause it's certain shit. I, I I'm I'm not gonna lie. Certain shit I have values more. Like I'm not gonna be able to grow up. I know I did some wild shit in my life. That's why I always talk about it. That's why I always bring it up. That's why I always mention it. It's like yo, ain't no secret about whatever wild person I am. This is the motherfucker you're dating. This is the motherfucker you're trying to be in a relationship with. So it ain't really too many secrets. Ain't nothing that's gonna shock you or, or, or astound you. But it's like yo, don't. Come to me with this. I'm this saint, this little angel, but you got this devil buried in the backyard with me. Like, <laughs> come on. I'm just saying, like, come on. I like, don't don't have that devil buried in the backyard. Now you want to dig that shit up because you feel comfortable enough and secure in your relationship that you can mention it to me now. And I'm not gonna feel some type of way, or it might end our relationship, or it could put a real strain on a relationship. Like here go prime example of, of one that could fuck any nigga up. There's this dude she's always hanging with that she convinced you that this is her brother. And you've been comfortable walking in the house with this nigga and he's there. And you never got the vibe that he never tried nothing with her or did anything with her. They're just friends. And you, one day you find out, oh yeah, we had sex once or twice in the past. Yeah, yeah. Get out. Get out because you're not trustworthy, and and I get that. That's that's that. You're not. That's not a bad um, representation of what we're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Get out. Um, because you had this nigga around me, and you told me you never did nothing with him. Because I'm gonna ask. Like, damn, yeah. I never fuck. Yeah. If you I mean, lied directly to me, and then you, to me, it's disrespectful to have a nigga around me too. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like. That that's a respect thing. You playing me for a fool, and I've been felt like I've been played for a fool before, and I don't mm-hmm. I don't really I don't forgive that. Like that's not mm-hmm. something that I really take lightly and say, and say, oh yeah, you was just being young. Don't worry about it. No, you were actively lying to me. It doesn't matter if you came clean. Mm-hmm. Now you had that nigga at our crib. That nigga might have you know what I mean. Like he might have, like me and him might be fly. That's corny because I got two people playing me like I'm a fool. Fuck both of y'all. Yeah. So that so that I'm guessing that's a and and guess what? The one or two times was just the one or two times, and it never happened again. The lie. That's what I'm saying. The lie was continuous. The lie was continuous. The niggas around you, you felt comfortable. You never got the vibe that yeah, y'all slept together. It's like 
Oh, y'all just. I never trusted that though. I, I never I, trust a person. I never trust a female that says, "Nah, that's just my friend." Yeah, nah, because no bot, no nigga. Why don't you like to me? And I know there's a bunch good. of girls who will argue. Yes, in the history of the world, there were people who were just friends. Yeah. Nine times out of motherfucking ten, if the bitch got a nigga that she fuck with, and that's just the bro. He hit it before, or he trying to hit it. There's some other shit going on, or it has gone on. My problem is when I'm with you and you have that nigga around and you said that nothing ever happened, but something did. Let's see, here was a funny situation. I was in a situation like that, but shortly I'm with she has me go to the nigga crib, but he has a girl that he's been with for many years. And it's like you used to hang out with him and his girlfriend, you were single. Kind of raise red flags. Now you bringing me around as what to say to the girlfriend? Hey, you know what I mean? We're couple. Like this is my best friend. We just been friends since we was kids. It's like yo. It like it kind of raised. What really raised the red flag with me was I had a I, I had a situation right. I had a situation with the shorty, and I was gonna do some wild stuff like a nigga threatened. Threaten my, you know, my mother, and I was ready to do some wild shit that would have probably put me away. She had a similar situation with her family and her family members, and somebody violated that would have put her away. Doing the same, ready to do the same dumb shit I was going to do. This nigga going to tell her that I'm corny for that, and I ain't really thinking about the relationship. But your shit was justifiable for what you did, like. Get what I'm saying? So I'm like, I looked at this nigga. I'm like, yeah, these niggas fucking. Like, we both had the same similar situation. We both about to do something that's going to jam. Both of us up for our family members, our my mother and your close family member. We would have both been jammed up trying to protect them in the same situation because there ain't no laws in the state of New Jersey to protect you from the situation. Yeah, I'm corny because this is my mother. You're not corny because this is just an other family member that you're close to. A, a bitch who ain't going to check a nigga trying to kick her man back in is yeah. also a snake. Yeah, that's what, if, but I'm if, saying. If a, nigga, if a nigga will kick you, ladies, if a nigga will kick, if your friend will kick your man's back in, either you're trying to fuck or you're already fucked. He ain't for you. Cause that's that's just him trying to put himself in position. I'm gonna make him look like shit so I can look good. Yeah, facts. So I had this shorty I work with tell me some shit about her man. I'm like, yeah, Yo, you gotta forgive him. I said I did the same shit too. Like, are we men? If we fuck up like that, like you really love him, go back. Like, yeah, exactly. that's like real. That's real. Too. That's real nigga advice. Is like, yo, I'm giving you advice from I did the same shit he did. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he try to overlook it. Like we fuck up sometimes. But if you're going to say, oh, he is snaking me. When the nigga said that shit, and it's supposed to be her brother that she was cool with this whole time, that shit was like, all right, these niggas probably fuck. And I'm just brother. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to convince his girlfriend that she probably been convinced for years. Cause she said, Oh, yeah, me and the girl didn't like each other at first, but then we became cool and all that. That's because like, she knows exactly what y'all was doing. Yeah, you got the same, she got the same feel I got. Now I'm just here to, to confirm, like, oh, they're just friends. Let's bring I'm like, where the fuck out of here. Every, listen, everybody's not honest. A lot of people think, and I've always, and we're gonna wrap this up. A lot of people think that stuff just isn't your business to begin with. I'm one of those people that I'm not gonna say stuff ain't people's business. I'm gonna say it's a reason why you don't want to tell somebody something. It's most likely because it'll affect the outcome of your relationship. If, if you fucked your bro, yeah, it could not be the new guy's business until it is. And then when it is, you still don't want to tell him because it's a little, it's a little suspect. You know what I mean? You know, he's going to have an issue with it. So you're not going to tell him it's not his business. You're wrong both ways. So you might as well be honest because if you're honest then you're not wrong at all, because what happened in the past happened in the past, right? If you're honest, Mm-hmm. So honesty truly is the best policy. Hey, if you if you were if you're paid for sex, 
understand that if the person can't accept you, and I know this sounds crazy, but if a person can't accept you off of your past, then they ain't the person for you anyway. So if That's you true. tell them and get it out of the way early and, and that person moves on, then you know that wasn't the person for you because if they find out, you might have you might have had kids with this nigga. You might have fucking bought a house with this nigga, and then you can't get mad if he finds out. And then he says peace, or he just doesn't trust you and starts fucking all your friends because he feels betrayed. Because I'll do that, bitch. We did all this shit together, and you and you held something like that from me. And I might have asked you about your past, and you ain't tell me that. Now, now all the shit I've been holding back on, I'm just going to do because clearly we don't have trust. So if you took my trust and you didn't, you know, you were careless with it, then I'm going to go ahead and handle my business and catch me if you can, bitch. <laughs> I, I catch listen, me if you can. That's the, that's the best way to wrap it up. Like, hey, man, listen, I have nothing to add on after that, man. All I will say is peace. You ruined it. Ruined it. Man, fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Y'all niggas know what it is. I ruin it every time. I like the I'm like the you found out she just sucked her. Is it over yet? It's it is gotta over. be over. It's <laughs> over now.